this is your teacher Marcelo uh, this class is about the teacher introduction right so uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of my personal life professional life um, and other uh, kind of peculiar information about myself uh, as a way for you to know me a little bit more okay so this is the class for today thank you see you around hi people this is your teacher Marcelo speaking uh, today our class will talk uh, I will talk a little bit about myself right briefly just for you to have a kind of overview of of me about me right so the, our class is the today is the teacher introduction okay so here as you can read uh, the title is introducing yourself right so i will introduce myself and i will discuss this a little bit later because this exercise will be the standard for your first assessment in this first trimester okay my name is marcelo cordeiro do nascimento i am 44 years old born in march 25th 1976 i am from salvador bahia brazil i live in salvador but work in blumenau santa catarina i work as english and brazilian portuguese teacher besides that i am musician singer actor director designer writer screenplay writer and ludopedist I love to play the drums and swim at Port da Barra Beach. I hate disrespect, disrespectful and impolite people, stubborn and spoiled children's parents, and insomnia. Okay, so I introduce a little bit of my, about myself, right? Uh, so here, answer these questions with your own information and organize it as, a, as the example above, right? So you see, when I introduce myself i actually answer these questions what is your name how old are you and when were you born where are you from where do you live what is your occupation what are the things you love the most what are the things you hate the most so you will answer these questions and with these answers you will have your uh, the exercise for the assessment right i'm gonna send you the assessment by email in uh, at siga right so but this is the standard for you to do your own presentation okay introducing yourselves but now let's talk a little bit about me okay all right so in this first picture you can see in the left side it's me when I was around, I guess, three, four or five months old. I'm not very sure about children's age. It's very difficult, right? Uh, and in the right side, it's me when, in 2013 when I was in East Timor, okay? As you can see, that's a big difference between the younger me and the older me, right? Uh, when I was younger, when, when I was born, I was born uh, white skin, and I had cur uh, I had wavy hair. And when I got older, I got blacker and I got curly hair. And when when I was born, of course, when my father saw me at the first time, uh, okay, I have an elder brother, and he was born blacker than me. So when my father saw me this white, he just talked to the doctor, but the doctor said, don't worry, when he gets old, he will get blacker, right? And this really happened, okay? All right, so uh, my beginnings. Oh, okay, this picture, as you can see here, I think I'm around four or five years old. Uh, maybe six because I'm using a school uniform, maybe kindergarten, I'm not very sure. 
probably before school school because as you can see I'm I have a large smile, right? When you start to go to school, you don't smile that much, that open at actually, you know. Okay, so I have some information about myself. I'm going to talk about it briefly. So in 1982, I got in touch with my first musical instrument, an electric for polisher, right? Uh, since early age, my parents used to put their kids to work, make uh, housework, right? And I was responsible to clean the floor. And we live in, a, in an apartment that had wooden floor, right? So before I have to use my hands, but when you got this electric floor polisher, I would do the job uh, faster. But I use this floor polisher more for the sounds and noise it produced than to clean the house, actually. In A3, I got my first cultural reference, a big one. It was the music video from the band Kiss. I love it loud. Uh, as we say, uh, in English, we have this expression, starstruck, right? When you see some um, musician, some actor or whatever, and you get, you get shocked by it, by him or her. And it happened to me when I saw I Love It Loud at first time. And to this day, I remember the sounds of the drums, you know, too heavy, too loud, too muscular, you know, and I just love it. Other influences, Michael Jackson, Iron Maiden, Jean-Michel Jarre, Mesut Sosa, and Tinkons. Tinkons is a band from Salvador, my, my city. So as you can see, I have influences for many different artists when I was young. In 84, I started to develop comic books, comic books, and I made my first character and I named him Super Brazil. These are the pictures of Super Brazil comic book, right? In the left side, you have the front cover. In the right side, you have the first page, right? In Super Brazil was an Indian that tried to protect Brazilian people for the problems they live at the time, right? And this was my first uh, serious creation, I could say. I was around eight, nine years old. Okay, so keep keeping on developing I had my first acting experience at Grupo Fantasia. It was a theater group for the school I study, Experimental. It was a constructivist school. And I used to, I, st I stayed in this group from 6 to 16 years old. So 10 years trying to be an actor. I was, I was very bad at that time, I have to say. As you can see, I'm dressed as a clown, right? Uh, and in this group, I I was uh, I had some mates that nowadays they are kind of a professional, right? One of one of them is Vladimir Brista, uh, that uh, is an actor from Globe TV, and the other one is Maria Marighella, uh, who is running, I, I guess, this year to. Uh, Councilwoman at City Hall from Salvador. Uh, in 84, I started to study English by myself. I'm self-taught. Uh, 86, I started to do parodies of uh, uh, songs, right? And make fictitious bands, albums, and songs. And, and this thing about doing parodies is very interesting because I, I was translating from English to... Brazilian, Portuguese, and it was my first experience like working with this translation situation, right? In 86, 87, I started to make fictitious football teams too. Uh, and I did my first band. It was a duo named Bagassa with my friend Fabio Chamusca. It was made up by a kind of drum kit. I, I I collect anything I could hit my hands on, or my stick on, my sticks on. And Fabio had a, a, an acoustic guitar, and sometimes we exchange guitar to drums, and one sing, the other sing. Uh, times before White Stripes, right? 
we were a duo like drums and guitar and singing even before them. All right, so these are the pictures of, in the left side is Express Roland. It's a magazine that I made to put information of my fictitious band. And in the right side is the, the front cover of the football team Spartacus, right? And I made like 100 teams, hundreds of bands uh, and musicians. It was a way to kill the time, I could say. So going older, in 88, I started to have my first serious literary experiences. I wrote two books. They were not too good, but it was the first attempt to do, right? Um, and I started to learn musical instruments. I'm self-taught too. The first instrument I got in touch was acoustic guitar, right? 89, I started to do move and play scripts, you know? In 1998, I wrote my first original song, A Cordillera and Perigua Vista. And in this year, I also made my first full band, Os Caligulas. It was made up by Zach Jr. on the guitar, Ebert on bass, Piggy on drums, and I was the singer and the lyricist. As you can see here in the right side, it the, is the picture of me around this time. As you can see, I had a kind of very beautiful helmet in my head. So I kept on producing, doing a lot of things. In 1994, I did my first band named Sophisma. It was the first project I developed by myself without uh, no help from anyone. In 96, keep on writing books. 1998, I collect 500 songs and doses of written books and screenplays. 2002, I had my first experience as an English teacher in a school and it's a very interesting story. I'm gonna tell you later, right? And in 2003, I had my first international experience going to Slovenia, Italy, and Austria to work in a travel agency and to play Bossa Nova. And after two months, I came back to Brazil and started to do my solo project about music. And I keep on doing this project. Here are some pictures to il illustrate what I'm talking about. So in the top left, we have the the cover, the idea of the cover for my record, my solo record. In the top right, it's me uh, pretending to play an accordion, and these two girls, they are they were nieces of my ex girlfriend. This picture was made in Slovenia. In the bottom left, we have uh, the the cover of the demo tape from my band Sophisma. Uh, and in the bottom right, we have the picture of the last formation of Sophisma uh, from left to right. Uh, it's João Lambão is the drummer. Daniel Che is the guitar player. That's me uh, a little bit below him. Uh, I play guitar and I sing. And on the, on the right side is André, the bass player. Uh, my academic activities, in 2003, I was approved at UFBA to uh, literature and languages in English and Brazilian Portuguese. Uh, 2009, graduate and I start to work as, uh, actually, I already worked as, an, as a Brazilian Portuguese teacher and English teacher, but I start to work more seriously. 2010, I was approved at UFBA to do the Master in Language and Culture, but I was expelled in 2013. Uh, is another st story I'm going to tell you later. In 2000, 2015, I was approved the second time. I did the master, and my master, I was studying about the using of music video in English language teaching, actually in foreign language teaching because I was teaching Portuguese as a foreign language when I was in East Timor. And I finished my master in 2017. Some teaching activities, I had lots of them, but these are some main activities, right? I'm going to tell you. 
Um, the picture in the right you see is me in my last day teaching at uh, Dili at, in East Timor, right? And I was making a speech to my students. So in 2002, I had this first experience as English teacher for high school students. 2006, as a Brazilian Portuguese teacher at Colégio da Polícia Militar. 2010, as a Brazilian Portuguese teacher at Instituto Federal da Bahia. So it was my first experience in a, a federal institute. 2012, I was teaching uh, Brazilian Portuguese in East Timor. In 2016, I was teaching at Universidade Federal da Bahia. When I was at uh, IFBA in, from 2010 to 2012 as a substitute teacher, I had some, uh, besides giving classes and all the things that teachers has to do, I did this project Afrodescents. It was a band that I made up with the, uh, the English teacher Breno Dias. And I, I made also a move with my students named Mente Não Mente. Uh, I'm going to put the, the links to you to watch the movie and to see a little bit of the band Afro the Uh Nowadays, I have this project Ludopedism. Uh, in the left side, you have the cover of the essay uh, about football. And... In the right side, you have the cover of a novel about a clumsy player who became a kind of famous one. My next projects I have here, I'm, I'm researching uh, for a book named Amor de Mão, as you can see in the picture. Uh, th this picture in the right was taken when I was in Indonesia. I went to a temple named Suku Temple. And it's the temple of sex. So all the images, the sculptures are related to sex. And I took this, this picture in 2013. And I always kept it because I say I have to do something with this picture. I didn't know if it would be a cover of a record or whatever. And then I had this idea to make a joke with the name of the soap opera uh, from Globe TV, Amor de Mãe. And I make a kind of uh, uh, wordplay with Amor de Mão. And then when I got this uh, title, connect with the image, I said, as we say, is the aha moment, right? I felt like that's the idea. I mean. And now I'm uh, researching for this book that will talk about uh, male masturbation. And here is... Uh, story that I wrote uh, named The King of Poop and it's about the situation I lived in 1996 when I met Michael Jackson and Spike Lee uh, of course Michael Jackson I think most of you know but Spike Lee is an American director that was directing this music video and this story is very funny because I was making uh, I was talking shit to Michael Jackson like to try to call him his attention, right? So he was coming close to me and I say, hey, Michael, I have some kids for you. Come here. I know you love it. Things like that, right? But Michael was super professional, didn't give a hint about me. But Spike Lee starts to, to say some words to me, some bad words to me. And I said, I, I start to course to him back, right? But I didn't recognize it was him. And when I came back, I had a friend with me. This friend of mine is in the floor laughing his ass off because he just said to me, man, you have no idea. You just had an argument and almost had a fight with Spike fucking Lee, you know. So it was a very funny story about my meeting with Michael <laughs> Jackson, right? All right, people. So this is a little bit about me. I hope you like it. I will put some links about some things that i say here right and i see you later bye